welcome back to it. Yes, it is your feel good breakfast show. It's Expresso. We're live here on S3 Hump Day, Wednesday. Time to open up to some fantastic music. And we know this about music. There's lots of beauty to be found in oh, music, yes. but there is much beauty in jazz and in classical music. But uh, you know, so much freedom and play can be found when you start to experiment with these traditional forms. And someone who really can attest to this, who's done this so many times, is South African born, New York based improvising violinist and composer. Eleanor Spears. Oh, well, no, 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 wait for it. Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. You have to add that. Eleanor. Eleanor Spears. <laughs> Eleanor. Yes, Eleanor. Eleanor Spears. Eleanor. Oh. Yes, <laughs> and, and, and you know, she has a slew of talented musicians who will be performing at the upcoming Jazz and Classical Encounters Festival, Volume 3. Before we get started, let's get a little taste of what the doctor is about. Eleanor. Mm. <laughs> Now! <laughs> yes. Wow! <laughs> wow, interesting choice of clip. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have others? So you didn't know. That was a, a harder for the audience, but good for it. At least Bryden was playing with me. <laughs> so here's the thing well, you, you really do have a big passion for this style of music and for expressing in this way. I mean, you've been smiling since you walked in. I, mean, I was in the makeup room with you and you've not stopped. <laughs> and you're excited to tell the world about this. How did you get your start in, in, in music, in jazz music? Ooh, uh, in music, um, I think I have to blame my brother. He, my parents took him to a symphony concert and he's like, that instrument, violin, took it home, and I'm like, that instrument, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and since I was three, that was it. I just loved it, was classical, had some amazing teachers. And my first teacher was Hungarian, and she just put the fire and the fear of God in us. <laughs> she was like, if you play music, you'll never be lonely, and you'll be have fire for the rest of your life. And all her students, she left when I was six, but yeah. all of her students continued to some degree, and we all have perfect pitch and because you, of Kodai method. You'll never be lonely because there's always going to be people wanting to be your audience. Yeah. Like, we're here, we want to be everywhere you are. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> friends now. <laughs> yes. you, you know, this morning was the first time I heard about an improvising violinist. And I, I want to expand on that just for a second because I know that you are classically trained. Yes. And, you know, there are contemporary styles and avant-garde that we heard that sounded like the middle of a, a horror movie, um, which is a good thing, you know, that intense moment. Day. But you have created this very unique style because I, I suppose contemporary sounds like it's going to close you in. You're very creative. So how did you sort of mold yourself into an improvising violinist? Whew. Well, I think... It's uh, from that start with Kadai, we had ear training that really made us play by ear. Yeah. And then I went, went to the academy, I was kind of, you know when you're good on the violin at high school in South Africa and you kind of feel special and you go, I went to the Royal Academy of Music and everyone's good and you're no longer special. <laughs> I went through that process, you're like, oh gosh, everyone sounds amazing. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> and then I remember so clearly being in a practice room with some friends and we're kind of messing around and I was like, let's improvise and I'm playing and everyone looks at me, improvise. Oh, no, 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 we don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> not here. No. Not in London, darling. <laughs> so, and I remember thinking, ah, this, is, this may be my superpower. I love to improvise. Yeah. So that was kind of the start of that journey. And then I went and I, to the International Jazz Festival here in Cape Town, yeah. and Judith Sapuma was singing. I don't know if you were there. People still talk about that day. It's about 10 years ago. Yeah. She, still, she does her set. She's amazing. And at the end, everyone's packing away, and she starts to sing again. And it was uh, like... Yeah. Like ad lib, singing notes she can't usually reach, and it was just this kind of power move through the room, like international jazz festival, people start screaming, oh, wow. and that did something to me. I'm like, if that is possible, I want that. It's a force. It's a force that you captured, clearly, and you've been able to express in so many other ways. Yes, 
Darling, you are in South Africa and are able to collaborate with like-minded artists and musicians, which is fantastic. I love when that collaboration is able to happen, but you don't restrict yourself in I that know. sense. You, <laughs> you cross the boundaries and you like to collaborate with other, you know, uh, uh, artists and musicians from mm -hmm. other disciplines as well. Yeah. Why is this so important to you? And, 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 and you know, in particular, when you did your performance in Musenberg at the Commons, why did that become the magic of the day? Oh, so, <laughs> oh, it's a long story, so to make it short, mm. um, I interviewed someone to come and live with us as a roommate in Boston, and she was a dancer, and we landed up improvising together, and it yep. was just magic. It was almost like electromagnetic energy coming off of her, and I'm like, I know how to play with another musician, but yeah. this is happening across art forms. What is this? And I want more. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm always looking for that, looking for people. So when I uh, was asked to play at the Commons, I said to Candice, the, one of the owners, I'm like, so do you know any other arts? And she recommended Gita Galina, who is a phenomenal improvising dancer. She's incredible. Then I went to the Baxter with my mom, and I saw Kitsu Seti doing his spoken word. And he was, he just blew my mind. So I was like, okay, I'm going to put these together and see what happens. Yeah. And it, I was really nervous for that show because yeah. we were all like in, yeah. new, in a new space. But I'm telling you, the audience was with us and they performed so well. I was just, I'm, I'm excited to do more, put it that oh, way. Oh, I love when you do that. It, it's <laughs> going to be great. In fact, we're going to get a taste of that today. But thanks a lot to Dr. Eleanor or Eleanor, <laughs> entirely up to you, Spears, <laughs> performing for you. And don't forget, third Jazz and Classical Encounters Festival. It'll happen on Saturday, 4 December at Spear Amphitheatre in Sedamosh or Dr. Eleanor Spears Amphitheatre. So make sure you get your tickets at cricket.co.za <laughs> and stand by for some great performances from the doctor a little later. You rock.